I was having a conversation with my mate, the funky prepper, earlier on today about all the things going on in this country. And one of the th things we were talking about was the idea of low traffic neighbourhoods or LTNs for short. And we were like, well, things are going to be quiet on that front lately. And we haven't really heard a lot. Well, I wish, I wish, I wish, I wish I'd have checked my email before I had that conversation. Hello, everybody. Welcome back to the channel. Hope you're well. Thank you for joining me once again. As always, I appreciate your support as we continue to fly in the numbers. It's wonderful to see. Can we're up to 60,500 subscribers now. Wonderful. And I really appreciate the support. Please keep it coming. Hit the like button, share the content, and hit all the other buttons you've got to do to help support the channel. Thank you ever so much. Well, I received an email from somebody about Birmingham, of all places. I have family connections with the Birmingham area, so I always take notice of this. And it was about low-traffic neighbourhoods and how they're, well, basically enforced on populations without their overall consent, despite these consultations that uh, we have chucked at us. It really doesn't wash. To give you a bit of context on this, have a look at this email. Okay, furious residents rip out bollards as anger grows over imposed uh, Lozell's LTN. Hi, Andy, it's me again, the real brummy. As you talk about LTN, I thought I'd send you this and how it's affecting the people in Birmingham. In this particular area in Birmingham, it's a very deprived area uh, with big problems. I've mentioned what the area is like because this will start trouble. Uh, in a big way, and it could spread everywhere else. Could you please do a video on this and try to explain that riots, uh, well, problems could be on the cards, uh, or you could just read out the email. Uh, if, you, if you can do, please name me as the real Brummy. Well, the real Brummy, there you go. I've uh, named you, and uh, I've shown the email to everybody and read it out so you get double bubble. To give you an idea of what's going on, I want to show you this. It's a piece of uh, video footage, somebody giving a brief statement of what's going on. I'll make this full screen so I give the guy the floor. Let's see what he has to say. Residents were concerned about the lack of consultation here in Lazelles with the implementation of this scheme. They're of the view that the scheme has been imposed upon them. When we had our meeting just down the road there at LRG, Lazelles Recreation Group, we had 80 people in the room and we had about 40 or 50 people outside. Importantly, what only three people said that they were aware of the scheme. And there was a general feeling that this had been imposed upon them. So the whole thing is a complete and utter mess. And what it means is this is supposed to be a low traffic neighborhood. The point is this, right? You can't have a low traffic neighborhood in an area where you have a lot of taxi drivers because there's going to be a lot of cars. You've got a lot of extended families as well. And in addition to that, you now are increasing pollution by what's being done. Because as opposed to someone having a straight run to their home, they now have to drive all the way round, which increase pollu increases pollution. And also as well, what that has already done in this area is increase road rage because people have lost patience already and increased traffic jams as well. Pollards have been ripped out, signs painted over. And what the residents have said in our petition, they want it to immediately cease. And then once it's ceased, talk to them properly about what they'd like. It's not as though they're not, it's not as though they're rejecting change. What they're actually saying is that talk to us and let us be a part of the journey. And that's what's happened, not happened here in the cells. They're not a part of the journey. Hence this scheme, and there's a backlash against Birmingham City Council for this. As you can see, rather major problems. Uh, it's a scheme that nobody wants. It's a scheme that nobody has any time for, and they're doing everything they can to rip it out and get rid of it. Now, these are scenes that have happened over other 
areas in this country of ours where this has been imposed where a populace doesn't want it. And you can see from the scenes in the video there, it's caused abject chaos with people trying to get through. A very, very bad idea. Very bad idea. And like the guy said, why aren't we spoken to and consulted about all this? It's because they want to push it through. That's why. Let me know what you think in the comments. Give this a share. Is there anyone in Birmingham that can shed any more light on it? It'd be good to hear from you. Anyway, I'm off. I'll see you shortly with one more. Toodaloo. Thank you.